one. Any widget can get drag behavior. That means it can be dragged around. We can, of course, write code to untouch down and on each move to simulate same behavior. However, using the drag behavior class reduces code and bus error in typing. 2. To use drag behavior, it must be imported from kv.uix.behaviors module. We update a string property to indicate current state, that is, whether we are dragging or not. 3. A horse-shaped widget inherits drag behavior. The behavior must be the first argument. The kind of widget is the second argument, here it is the base class widget. We find the status by using on which move. First, we find touch position, as well as position of horse widget and initialize the four numbers that we will use in the next step. Often, you will write shorter variable names to make code clearer. 4. The positions are used in this logical statement. The reason we use this, rather than collide point, is that not all horse points should be clickable and draggable. Only a portion of the horse widget is draggable. It corresponds to the saddle region of the horse. These numbers were found from a graphics program, GIMP. The details about the image coordinates will be shown later. Finally, we pass the onDitch move to the drag behavior class, so it can receive that event as well, and respond to it. 5. The horse images obtained from OpenGameArt.org you can get it by searching for horse. The original picture is 50 pixels by 37 pixels. First, it is scaled up two times so the new size is 100 by 74 pixels. To get the saddle coordinates you can open the image in a graphics program. The list of these coordinates is shown next. 6. In the KV file, we get three drag variables. The drag rectangle represents region where dragging can occur. In our example, it is the saddle region. It is a region 16 by 25 pixels in size. Further, it is 36 pixels right from the left edge and 28 pixels above the bottom edge. The values of drag timeout and drag distance will rarely have to be changed. You may choose the default, but these seem to be more responsive. 7. Here we use on touch if to write, not dragging. We don't check where the touch is removed, as it does not make a difference. We also don't need to call the superclass from the KV file. 8. The background color is blue, and a label indicates the purpose of the program at the top of screen. 9. Finally, we have an instance of the horse class. In the POS, we give the initial position. Finally, the label indicates the value of horse state variable. 10. This is the result while dragging the horse widget after touching the saddle. Even though, here, we used on touchdown and on touch move, we rarely will ever need to. After all, it hardly matters if the program knows it is dragging, as you will have visual cues. But that is where you will place an e-code to take place whenever dragging occurs. There are other behaviors in KV which can be given to widgets. To control them, besides declaring which behavior our widget implements, we will change the properties they have from within the KV file. 11. You can find additional information including the source code at pythonmobile.blogspot.com.